Not so long ago, this tiger was roaming free. Now it's ended up in the Czech Republic, thousands of kilometers away from its natural habitat. Animal rights groups say between 1999 and 2016, illegally traded body parts from more than 8,000 tigers were seized throughout Europe. This police raid is part of a global attempt to put an end to this trade. It comes as world leaders met in London to find ways to tackle the problem. These networks are sophisticated, coordinated, adaptable and professional. They innovate faster than we can and they exploit weaknesses in our system. The illegal wildlife trade is the fourth most lucrative transnational crime in the world, after drugs, weapons and human trafficking. And it's big business. A litre of wine made from tiger bone can fetch $2,000 on the black market, while tiger pelts can be sold for around $20,000. And similar prices are charged for ivory products and rhino horn, much of which comes from Africa. Dixon Kaelo is a Maasai tribesman in Kenya. His experiences led him to bring attention to the plight of endangered animals. I remember in my early days I saw elephants without the entire face uh, chopped off and that's very dis devastating. Delegates here include the leaders of Uganda, Botswana and other African countries. One of the main aims of this conference is to find ways to target the finances of the criminal chiefs who are ordering poaching. Now, these span across Africa and other continents, but other people are also making money, and that includes poachers and even local communities. Kalo says some local people get drawn into the trade in the hope of escaping poverty. Community often don't realize uh, how the networks uh, operate. They, they see uh, some guy coming in and saying, you know, I'll give you some money and, and, and if you bring me this or you show me where this animal is. And, and they do not connect and, and realize that this is a bigger uh, network. The conference also aims to find ways to change the attitudes of buyers. Because while there's a demand for illegal animal products, there'll continue to be a supply. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, London.